to all well, this is relating to flight flight delays and cancellation there was a report earlier that I've seen 1500 plus plus in and out of the United States relating to um, flight delays over the um, this July 4th holiday um, travel period so you're gonna see a lot more delays also you have um, issues with smog and air quality in the uh, Midwest areas like Ohio Detroit believe Chicago and different areas in the Midwest so relating to those wild wildfires in Canada so that's still a threat too as well so a lot of things going on man second on uh, Timothy's uh, 301 knowing this that in the last days perilous time shall shall come man Perilous goes to bad, evil, and um, difficult, difficult and terrible times, man. There's a, uh, a Charlotte Airport uh, plane landed without a uh, without a landing gear. It landed straight sen center in the middle, man. That was a report. So they had lucky they had a very uh, you got these planes. You know you have some very skilled, skillful pilots, man, and you know. For that situation, they had a good pilot, so nobody, everybody was safe on that. But you're seeing a lot of mishaps and different issues with um, with um, uh, with these airplanes. Also, you also seen a few weeks ago um, the end of a plane when it was coming out. It hit another plane when it was trying to, you know, come out. You know, you also seen one um, relating to. Um, almost they got into a collision you know a plane so we've seen a lot of uh mishaps man a lot of uh i guess miscommunication a lot of errors or something going on you know so you're seeing a lot of uh you know things related to the airport situation cancellations flight cancellations different things in the holiday period such as especially like this one you're going to see a lot of uh people traveling man so people, this is a holidays, what, Tuesday? So you're going to see people leaving Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So five days, pretty much five days for some people, man. For these uh, these traveling periods, man. Extraordinary circumstances are events in which cause flight disruptions over which an airline has no control. This could be something like medical emergency, natural strike, national strike bad weather conditions air traffic uh, control restrictions so you know things they can't control is, you know unusual circumstance or situations they had uh, you know with remember with the glitch late that could interfere with the uh, the flight the uh, the flight cancellations related to the computer glitch so a lot of things are going on basically and you having this extreme weather that's affecting the South, Texas, Alabama, here in Florida, um, different parts of the country, man, all over, man. Stream heats 90 and up, close to 100 index. Even at nighttime, is very uncomfortable, man. Especially in some areas like Texas, for example, man. So, Laura's doing a lot of things, man. A lot of things are happening, you know what I mean? Scripture talks about measure.com diligently in itself, man. How you measure the time correlating with the scriptures and um, correlating with things that's going on in society correlating with the scriptures, man. So you measure the times, the times relating to what things is going on in society according to prophecy, man. These are some more articles. Storms. Uh, let me get this one here. It's red hot deal days from Verizon. You can get the incredible iPhone 14 Pro Max on us. My plan. So you get exactly what you want and only pay for what you need. Max now and get iPhone 14 Pro Max on us when you switch. For limited time only, it's your Verizon. On 
the busiest travel week of the summer, a recipe for a travel nightmare at the center of it all, the big three in the Big Apple. The plans keep changing, like literally, it's like by the minute it's changing. Summer storms in the Northeast have led to ground stops, endless lines, and boiling frustration. NBC's Maggie Vespa stuck at LaGuardia overnight. It's chaos down here. One woman behind me in line told me she's been told to be prepared to be stuck here until Saturday. Everybody is so stressed out. People are yelling, people are mad. The ripple effect means long lines in Denver and Boston. You get here three hours early and you're not sure. You're still not sure if you're gonna make it. Delta CEO says this summer is breaking records. The demand, as you know, as anyone that's traveling knows, is so off the chain. But it's not just the weather slowing things down. In an email, United CEO Scott Kirby said the FAA failed us this weekend. With its newer cub hit hard, Kirby blames the ongoing shortage of air traffic controllers for slowing traffic, though the FAA insists it was not a problem. Nationwide, more than 2,500 controllers are retiring this year and last. Training and certifying new controllers takes two to three years. And United has its own staffing problems. A union email says flight attendants are waiting on the phone for hours to reach crew scheduling. Airports nationwide reporting record passenger levels at or exceeding 2.7 million passengers every day, eclipsing 2019 numbers. Just as the TSA predicts, Friday could be the monster travel day, 2.8 million travelers. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. That was an today's top stories and breaking news. That was NBC um, news report talking about um, flight cancellations, and that report is saying like a lot of air track air traffic controllers retiring. They say 2,500 plus total. So in, in that report it said it takes a couple of years to really train one in that area man so staff shortages uh, so staff shortages in different areas so um, that could be one of the reasons there could be issues in different areas relating to going going, going on with the airport situation man. for example that man. just get um Few scriptures real quick. In Matthew's 12, 24 and 12. Because of iniquity shall bound with the sin, and love of many shall wax cold. That goes to pretty much the disposition of the people, man. You know, the impatient, the impulsive, impulsivity, the impatientness. Um, you know, like certain characteristic and traits that these people are displaying, relating to you know, not uh, not exactly um, having uh, affection for one another. In a matter of speaking, let's get another one. Second Ezra, um, let's go. Let me get the one I was quoting earlier. Answer me and then it said, Measure thou time diligently in itself. How you measure the time with the, using the Bible, correlating what's going on in society. And when thou seest the part signs past which are to, have told told thee before, by what prophets, man, warning about things that's, go, that's going to happen in, in the latter times, man. And then thou shalt understand that is the very same time. Wherein the highest will begin to visit a world which is made. So the Lord's beginning to visit a world doing pretty much warning signs on earth, man. You know what I mean? Because of relating to the state and condition of society. You know what I mean? Um, um, the things that's going on, man. You know, and really giving warning and signs before, the, before he sends his son. Yahweh Shai, man. Let's get um, let's get K 
continue to grow. And therefore, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, uproars of, uproars of the people in the world. So that's part of that, uh, the love not, uh, the love waxing cold, you know, disposition, certain disposition of the people, laying to sedition, mutiny, uprising, civil unrest, and different things. Uh, the certain characteristic and trait the people are going to display in the times now and really the times to come, man. Um, and I'll, I'll go to uh, continue on. And then, and then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So all these things were spoken that certain things will happen in a specific time, man, right? related to um, the end times. But like, as all is made in the world have a beginning, and the end, and the end, and the end is manifest. So the end, of, end is manifest is being made known, man. Right? Through the signs, through the things that's happening, man, that the Lord is allowing to bring on earth, man. Number six. Even so, the times also have the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and what and powerful works and endings in, in effects and signs, man. Let's go with the characteristic of these people. Let me see. Something quick, real quick, and also let me go to uh, Ecclesiastes 12. Real quick. this early I'll quote it again um, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come perilous goes to bad evil times man Do Jeremiah 28 and 8 the prophets of the old they preach about evil uh, evil war and pestilence man so they preach about these things were taught these things were spoken from the beginning what of war Pestilence and evil, man. So the prophets spoke of these things that the, that certain people, certain generations, going to experience certain things, man. Number two. And the men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. These are characteristics that the people. Are displaying on a day-to-day -day basis, man. On a day-to-day -day basis, daily. Lovers of themselves, boaster, proud, blasphemers, disobedient, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Go with 24 and 12, man. So the wax of, uh, for iniquity shall abound, and the love of many shall wax cold. That love of many is what. The love of many uh, shall wax cold. So the love of many is going to wax cold. So that's going to be a, a lack of natural affection. Truth breakers, man. So they're not going to honor their words, whether contractually or verbally. False accusers. Bear false witness, man. You know what I mean? Lying on individuals, man. Different things. Incontinent. Incontinent means lacking control, man. You know what I mean? Lacking self-control. Lacking control overall. <laughs> that's easy for the state of the people in the society. Easy. Fierce goes to savage, despiser of those that are good. So ones who are coming in a certain different manner, contrary to the world, man. They're gonna they're gonna despise those individuals, man. Or you know, collectively or individually. Number four. Traitors, so you're gonna have betrayers, man. Heedy, high minded, thinking high of themselves, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of God. For ye know, um, um, let me get that real quick. That relates to the characteristic and trait that people are displaying now and definitely on on a more on a more pretty much uh, they're going to be displaying in times to come. Man. We get James four and four. He's trying to quote it. Here we go.
ye adulterer and adulterers, man, know that, know ye not that a friendship of the world is an enmity, which is an enemy of, with the God, with God, Yahweh, Hashem, Yashem. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of this world is an enemy of the Lord. So if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of the Lord. So ye adulterer and adulterers, know that a friendship of this world is an enmity, enemy with the Lord, man, Yahweh, Hashem, Yashem. Whosoever, therefore, be a friend of this world is an enemy uh, of the Lord, man. James 4 and 4, man. Um, let's go to... Um, Ecclesiastes um, 12... Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now the remember that remember now the creator in the days of thy youth. That's from the beginning. While the evil days come not. So the, while the evil days are at a very distance, man. Nor the years draw nigh. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And a lot of people don't have no pleasure in them because it's not a high priority to um, to seek this, man. For most people, that's the majority of the people. Especially our people, you know. What I mean, two thirds, you know, they don't see a priority until certain things come. Then they'll try to seek it, but it may be too late for them in that period of time. Um, number two, while the sun or the or, while the sun uh, or the light or the moon or the stars be dark and nor the cloud or rain or after read that again while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain so the signs but three bunch of things that uh, before these things come to pass you know what I mean um, in the days that the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinding the workers cease because there are few and those that look out of the windows will be darkened because they see no hope, no future, man. You know, pretty much the um, the um, the hustle and bustle, the fat, the the way society used to be is gonna is gonna is is gonna um, slowly halt or cease, man. You know, you're seeing you're seeing that you see in Babylon um, that. Over relating to the past few years, relating to different things, businesses closing, malls closing. You see a lot more malls closing, different entities and different mom and pop and different entities. So that spirit, that spirit of um, I guess the mirth and um, pretty much um, the things that used to make what this merchant city uh, what it is, man, um, is um, is no longer, man. You know, you're seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing the. Um, it began to, um, you know, close in a matter of speaking. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. And when the sounds of the grinding is low, then he shall rise up the voice of the birds. And all the doors of music shall be brought low. So the music, the entertainment, the mirth, the uh, hustle and bustle, that's part of that grinding, the work. The things that were, that makes the society active, man, is, is going to be cut short, man. It's, it's being cut short. And since after the past few years, if you notice in society, things have changed. It's not the same like it used to be, man. It was never really the same even before a certain thing happened. You know what I mean? But now since that thing um, happened, that specific thing is really accelerated, pretty much cutting potentially precursively that mirth, man. You know what I mean? Even more. So, um... Also, when shall be afraid of, of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because a man goeth to his long home, and mourners go about the street. 
So they're gonna mourn because of things that, you know, it's not, it's not, it's changed, man. They're gonna mourn that things are different, man. Society's different. You're seeing it. You're seeing all the air, you know, seeing, you see in the state of Babylon, man, the pomp going to Isaiah, the splendid display, which is the outward, uh, somewhat of uh, uh, super, uh, I guess, superficial appearance, man, that which made a Babylon what it is. You're seeing the de you're seeing the decadence of that. You're seeing the you're seeing the deterioration. You're seeing the um, um, the weakness in it, man. So let's change, man. Um, I want to get. Oh, was uh, just a few scriptures relating to that. The flight delays, you know what I mean? You're seeing, um, so the society's changing, man, you know? All right, this was a few uh, scriptures relating to that. Shalak, uh, hope it helps. This is um, Zaya Wolf. We've all praised Yahweh Shem Yosha, Yahweh Shem Rekha Hope it helps in some way. Shalom.